So now we're going to take a look at Project Chaos's bank manager and the ability to import your own samples into the engine. So if we come over to our Project Chaos installation folder here, you'll see that it has a folder called the bank manager. So if we click that and just double click the application. As you can see, we've got a Mac version and a Windows version. So I'm just going to click the Mac version here. As you can see, it brings up my bank manager. I already have a few of these uh, created myself. So it's very easy to use. Uh, the bank manager is an individual application that exists outside of contact. So it's completely unique to this player and it will allow you to create your own custom uh, imported loop banks, as well as if you want to, you can release your own uh, Project Chaos expansion packs. So it's very easy to do. So all we have to do is go to new bank and let's call this test bank for now. And what that's going to do is in my bank folder, you'll see that it's created a folder called test bank that already has the, uh, the NKI file, which uh, contact needs to load up. And it also has a load of empty sample groups. So you don't need to worry yourself with that. All we need to know for now is this bank manager. So as you can see, it's currently empty. So let's, uh, for the uh, sake of this example, what we're gonna be doing is loading in some project alpha samples. Uh, as you can see, this is my old folder, so ignore all the done thing. But anyway, so let's pull up uh, here, just double click in categories and it will bring up the opportunity to enter your own name. So let's just call this rhythms. Okay. And then all we have to do is let's go to our project alpha rhythm folder and let's for now bring in some brushes. All we have to do is drag the ones we want, pull them down to the sample window. And that is it. They now exist in this file. So I'm just going to close this version of project chaos now. And as I mentioned earlier, if I come back over to my project chaos folder, go to banks and come down to my test bank. Now all I need to do is load in this test bank. So I'm just gonna drag it into contact. And you can see that instantly those rhythms that I created here are now what exist within this folder. And because they're all uh, done to grid, I can just sync them up and play multiple notes at once. So as you can see, there's currently nothing else within this bank. So let's just close that down again. No, so we're not done. Let's load in some, let's come back over to uh, our project alpha. Let's bring in perhaps some impacts. So we'll come down to categories. We'll create a new folder called Imp impacts. You can uh, double click to rename that impacts. There we go. And again, same thing. Let's just bring in some booms for now. So I'm just going to select from here to here drag them in as you can see they've loaded in so again we'll come back over to project chaos we'll drag in our test bank again and as you can see we now have a our folder called a category rather called impacts and if i turn on menu mode we're now able to play these back and of course, these all work with the step sequencer and things like that, but we'll create one more. Let's bring in some drones. Drones. Let's drag all of these in. Now these are longer, so they take a little bit longer to load. And as you can see, you don't need to save anything. You don't need to do anything. It's all done in the background for you. We just come straight back. Let's close down this again. Because as you can see, like it currently won't be there because we haven't reinitialized the patch. So we'll just close the patch, come back over to our Project Chaos bank folder, drag the test bank back in. And now we have access to the drones we just imported. We'll put it in menu mode again. And the engine has them all set up so I can play multiple and change the pitch. One thing we do ask though is by default, it, it comes in on the note C. So you can actually change the pitch of an individual note using the ops menu here. So you can show the pitch adjuster. That'll bring a window here. So you can actually change uh, the root note of whatever sample it is. And then you just save the patch out again and then it is uh, registered. And of course, everything is all where it should be. So now if we come to the step sequencer, for example, we can set up a quick sequence.
And again, we can use all the features that were built in to Project Chaos from the get-go. It's very simple to use. And if we come over to the presets here, you can see it's currently listed as category, category. And if you're creating your own banks that you'd like to register you know, yourself for your presets, you could, if you want to, just come down to the preset category and say like dark presets, and then, uh, I don't know, rith rhythmic, rhythmic presets. And again, if we just drag this in, and go over to our preset browser, you can see that it has changed the name of those. And if I want to, so here we've just got our rhythms loaded in. Let's just pull this up, sync it, put it in menu mode, and then we'll create a quick sequence here. Uh, it's a very quick one. And then we can come over here and change the name of this preset. Again, single click the one you want to change, test preset and then write that in. And our test preset is saved. So if we close this and load it back up, you'll see that that is instantly saved into the preset browser uh, for use in any future things. As you can see, very powerful, very easy, and a good recommendation for this if you uh, are thinking of things to do. Firstly, you can import all the Alpha and Bravo loops in. You can bring in individual samples. As we did, we brought in impacts, which will, again, just play back as, let me turn this. Uh, there we go, put the menu mode on. You can bring in individual sounds. And of course, I didn't mention this earlier, we can layer these together. So if we put the rhythm on, sequence it up and I'll put this in menu mode too. So now we're playing the impacts and of course we can, if we want to bring in the drones, uh, do the same thing we just did, you know, bring up the step sequencer, put on menu mode, And you can see from Project Alpha, I'm instantly creating loops and vibes that, I, that just didn't exist before, all simply by loading up the bank manager, creating a new bank, making a new category, and just dragging stuff in. We've made it as easy as possible. There's a lot of complex things going on, but we've tried to hide that from you. So all you need to know is you just drag things in and you're good to go. And you can immediately uh, load the patch in. Again, it's in the Project Chaos installation, banks, and then whatever you've created, will it will make a folder for you. You don't have to do anything. You don't even have to push save. And then load the patch in and everything that you've imported into here will be reflected in the Chaos Engine and you can use your own custom loops. And again, as I was about to say, you, I recommend if, it, if you've ever purchased an old loop library from something like Loop Masters or, you know, one of these uh, even dance loops, it, even the most uh, obscure types of sound loops that you can think of. If you have them, you can import them. And as you can see by the uh, step sequencer, you can change where in the sample you're starting. That's all tempo synced. And they should just, you can immediately hit the ground running. There's, there's nothing holding you back. The only recommendations we have is that uh, when they're imported, if you import them as a C note, they will, you won't have to change uh, the individual pitch. So make sure you bring them in as a C. Uh, try to make your loops four bars long uh, because that will uh, that will make sure that they are played back at the correct rate. Uh, but other than that, everything else will tempo sync automatically. As as I mentioned, I did no I did no editing to the the rhythms that we have here, and they're synced. If I just put my tempo click on.
as you could see, I did no editing to any of the alpha loops there. All I did was import them and all you have to do is click sync and they will tempo sync to the host. We try to make it as easy as possible for you guys to use. Hopefully that um, covers everything in Project Chaos. If you have any more questions, please do make sure to put them down either in the comments below the video or send us a email to support at hybrid2.com and we can answer any individual questions you may have. But as I, as I mentioned, we try to make it as easy as possible. So thank you for watching these tutorials. Hopefully you found them useful and make sure to let us know. Thank you.